Hi everybody, it's been two weeks since we did an update, and the Gig Master is on cruise control, and we got a lot more updates too, so stay tuned, I'll tell you all about it. Alright, for those of you who've been following the Gig Master, I just got back yesterday from an eight day cruise to New England area, really awesome cruise, uh, we went up to an area, um, Halifax, Sydney, uh, several stops up there in the um, Nova Scotia area, Maine, had a great time. Uh, one of the stops, I, I, I've been doing several videos from my from my trip. I just, it was just too hard to put together while I was on my trip with their internet and my phone and all. Got the software here to do a lot better job. So anyway, we'll be putting some out together, but just give you a couple quick uh, tips on what, what I saw. Really cool. Um, up in a, a one place they have what they call the reversing river. It's amazing. It's got like a 28 foot tide. You know, here in Virginia Beach, we got three foot, but that much they got 28 feet tide change. So the, where the river flows down, when it reverses, the river actually flows back upstream because of the, how much pressure. It's just crazy how much water is going through there. There's millions and millions of tons of water. It's crazy looking. Anyway, some of y'all may say I've put a couple of reels and stuff out, but. I'll try to do a video talking a little bit more about that. Uh, they had uh, uh, one spot we went, they had uh, a Titanic Cemetery uh, when it, when uh, they were hired in this town to go pick up the bodies out of the water and bring them back. And I forget how many they recovered, 200 or something I think it was, but they brought them back and one they couldn't return to the owner. Some of them they couldn't identify, so they had, uh, and, and some they did identify, they still were buried right there in this town. It's, it's a pretty neat little cemetery there, so I will, I'll show you that on a future video too. That's pretty cool. Um, a, lot, a lot of cool stuff going on uh, on the cruise, so we'll do some videos and show you some exciting uh, highlights of the cruise in a, some future videos, so stay tuned for those. Take me a while to put all that together, but we'll get it straight. Uh, hey, I want to show uh, my, one of my subscribers and friend, uh, Steve. He's in Hawaii. Year, it's been several years. He sent me a hat from Hawaii and all. And we actually met him on the beach down Virginia Beach. He actually came in town. I actually just happened to run across him. It's crazy. Not even on Virginia Beach. We're on a side beach here. But anyway, he found a cell phone uh, here a few weeks ago in a semi-waterproof bag. And uh, I'll put a picture up there. And it had a you know, trying to find owners of cell phones sometimes can be tough, but his had a um, hotel card, swipe card that you get in the bag, hotel name. So he went to the hotel, and they were able to find the owner by that key, that card key. They actually looked the owner up, and he got the phone back to him. Uh, check out the picture. I'll put it up there. It's super cool. Good job, Steve. It, it just... He says, uh, he got, hey, Steve, yesterday I got the great gig master feeling by returning another five. Which is, it does give you the best feeling to return something that somebody lost that just knows they're not going to get back. You know, it's in the water or whatever. I mean, they just say, okay, I'm done. And they don't even try to get back. They don't call anybody. Most of them, a lot of them don't. But it gives you the best feeling to get something back to uh, somebody that has lost something like this. It's really cool. And good job, Steve. Congratulations on getting that back to them. Uh, Y'all might have saw my last crabbing video. Crabbing's over. It ran out uh, October 15th, I think it was. So, uh, that season ended. So, you can't go. It's still there, but you you know, you can't go out there. They got seasons for the crabs. Uh, so, they're done. But the shrimp still got possibilities. My friend was <coughs> out there yesterday and he just fished and he said shrimp were jumping all around the boat. So, there's no um, time frame on the shrimp, so if they're still there, we may try to get out again this week and try to hit the shrimp again. Uh, man, they are the best shrimps. I, I got to get back out there. We'll definitely hit that. Um, we'll tell you about a Civil War show coming up, uh, the 42nd C Central Virginia Military Antique Show is coming up on Saturday, November 18th. A friend of mine, Carl Sitherwood, uh, he's with... Uh, uh, BulletandShell.com. Some of y'all might have been on his website. They sell all kind of cannonballs, bullets, buttons, all kind of stuff. Uh, that's BulletandShell.com. And it's more information on the show there. Uh, but it is at uh, Me Meadow Event Park, 13191 Dawn Boulevard. 
in Doswell, Virginia. They've had that in Richmond in the past, and this is not far from Richmond, it's in Doswell, Virginia. Uh, you set up on Friday, November 17th from 12 to 6, and it's open to the public on Saturday, uh, November 18th uh, from 9 to 5. So uh, if y'all want to check out some more of it, check out bulletandshell.com. It's got more info on the thing. You can actually rent, rent a table if you want to sell something, or you can just go check out all the awesome, cool uh, stuff that they're going to have there from, from military um, show. Pretty cool. I, I, I sat up there a few years ago, but it's a really, really neat show. Um, well, we are uh, getting ready to come up on 50,000 subscribers for my YouTube channel, which, which is good for me. Some of you got millions, but 50,000 is a lot for me. I really appreciate all the support that y'all have given me through the years. I'm doing about seven years with them, and uh, we're getting ready to hit 50,000. We'll do some kind of giveaway for 50,000 subscribers, so we definitely have to do that. Um, let's talk about the beach just a little bit. My friend, John Boy, y'all know John Boy, he went out there, uh, it was yesterday, the day before yesterday, seven coins. I mean, it is still, he's using an Equinox 900, but it is still, I don't care what you use, it is just, it, the spines are just so bad. I mean, you can walk in and get the best diamond ring you ever found, one target, and get it, and you know, you know how that goes. You got well, somebody had dropped it, and somebody's never found it. But what we like to see is that sand moves back and get down to that deep layer of stuff uh, that's been there for years and years. You know, I've returned seventeen-year-old rings that I found. You know, from right there to the beach. But right now, you ain't gonna do that because it's not pulling that sand out. It's pushing sand in. It's just kind of covered everything up. So it's just you still get come down to Virginia Beach and detect and get lucky and find something, but. You're not going to find a lot of the older stuff because you see me sand, covered up. Uh, if you start getting some hits, you know, you, you really work that area hard. But once in a while, the water will pull out some sand in a certain area and that you might get a little, he what we call a heavy target zone and, and do good. But right now, it's pretty pitiful. Not good. Uh, it's time to really start hitting the fields. Uh, all the crops are getting picked. There's still a lot of cotton and soybean in the fields. So um, I got... Just to take, give you a quick update, I got a awesome site. We're getting ready, getting ready to hit up. It's uh, uh, it was deeded back in the early 1600s from the King of England. Uh, I think it's had a lot of stuff on the property. Um, I don't think it's ever really been detected, and um, we're gonna hit it hard. We're gonna hit it hard, and I can't wait. I'm just excited to get out there because um, I know this place has got a lot of potential. You, if sometimes that happens, you get there, there's nothing, but. I really have a good feel about this site. Uh, the person there has picked up civil bullets off the ground, found some really old 1700s uh, pottery. Uh, so I, I don't know what's there yet, but I'm getting excited about getting in. We we'll, might try to do a little test test here outside the fields uh, this week. That might be one of my spots to hit this week to check it out and see what we can see. But the field, the, all the fields are still playing in with cotton and soybeans. So, but it won't be too long. Within the next month, they should be gone. So we'll be checking it out. So, got that coming up, and um, we'll still try to beach. I'm probably going to try to beach maybe one day this week just to try it. I know John Boy didn't have any, like, seven coins. John Boy usually fills his bag of coins, so well, we might still try it. Um, anyway, on the other side, you know, I keep telling y'all, you got to get out. Get off that couch. Get out. Just enjoy every day that you can. Uh, no day is uh, guaranteed, and I came home this week. I lost my brother last Wednesday, and... Um, it hit home, man. You got to get out and enjoy life best you can. Uh, talking about cruise control, I've got four more book right now. I got one next month coming up, uh, and that is going to be my fiftieth wedding anniversary cruise. So we'll be checking that out. Uh, that's going out to the uh, Bahamas. I might try to take my detective. Maybe I don't know. We'll have to see how it goes. But uh, I got three more up to. I got one in twenty twenty five, and a couple more next year. So. Anyway, we, we are, we're set up for more cruise videos coming up, so hopefully, and hopefully some metal detecting on my cruises coming up too, on some of the other ones, so we'll see how that goes. Alright, I appreciate everybody coming along. Get out, do something fun tomorrow. Don't forget to click like, comment below, share, and subscribe to the Gig Master, and we'll see you on the next adventure. Mm -hmm.